Hello everyone, welcome back to Craft Beer Lady. It is amazing to see you all today and thank you ever so much for joining me. So I have got, it's a beer from Brew York. It's a chocolate story, chocolate milk stout. Now this was one of the beers I actually bought from Beers of Europe for Simon's Father's Day present. Only he already had one here. So I've kind of stolen it. So this is 4.8%. Um, it, uh, Obviously it's from York, it's made by Brew York, but it also says York Chocolate Festival, so I guess there's a chocolate festival held in York, and it kind of goes with that. I'm going to crack it open. I'm quite... Whoa. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells of chocolate, by the way. Let's give this a pour. Way, it looks amazing. So it's a milk chocolate stout. A chocolate milk stout. A chocolate milk stout. <laughs> chocolate milk stout. Right, got there in the end. Whoa, I've not done a very good justice on the pour there, have I? Massive, great big head. Really nice and dark, like I want to see a good stout. Now, one thing I've got to say this is not vegan. It is vegetarian, but it's not vegan. There is lactose in here. Um, and that is in there to bring out the mouth feel. But do beers really need it? I don't know. I don't think so, to be honest. I've had, what is it? Oh, it's the fridge. I'm gonna like fast forward that bit. Uh, where was I? Yes, I had a beer in Simon's live Friday night feed and it had, it was completely vegan and it was chocolatey and the mouthfeel was amazing, it was really rich and it didn't need the lactose so this has got to do something really special you know for the need for it. Right I'm going to taste it, cheers. Actually before I do that I need to talk about the smell don't I? I'm just getting excited. It is definitely chocolatey right? I'm picking up more of a sweetness and more of a chocolatey smell than I am getting of a good old classic stout. It's quite hard to get past those sweet notes. It's definitely more... I'm getting it on my face. It's mostly chocolate. This smells of chocolate. Maybe a little bit of a bready kind of note in there too, but it's very subtle. It's all about the chocolate, this one. Anyway, cheers. I'm going to go in for it again. Okay, the mouthfeel is very, very smooth. It's almost like drinking a cold hot chocolate. Very, very sweet. Um, really, really chocolatey. I mean, is it a stout though? I'm not getting those bready and those roasted malty kind of flavours that you would normally pick out on a stout. This is more about that sweetness. Mind you, you're picking it a bit more as the sweetness kind of goes and you're getting a bit of the, at the end of the mouthfeel if you like, you're getting those more bready, more, more roasted kind of malt flavours. But this is really sweet. It's a bit on the sticky side as well, this one, guys. It is making my lips feel quite sticky, which I'm not a fan of. I don't really... It's not good. The beer's good, but that mouthfeel, I don't like that. For me, I don't think that's stouty enough to be a stout. That's really, really sweet. Um, 4.8%. You don't really know that it's nearing on to the 5% ABV. You can't really pick that up. That sweetness, that chocolatey taste is kind of hiding that, I guess. See, I like a stout. I really like a stout. That to me is not a good, clean stout. There's, there's, 
I like that roasted, bready, those really dark malt flavours of a stout. That is my favourite part of it. Now this, I'm getting more sweetness than that, so I'm not really that impressed. I get the chocolatey, right? It's really chocolatey. It really, really is. But is it a stout? Anyway, I'm going to go. Guys, thank you all for joining me today. I'm not sure this is, video is going to be appreciated very well because I know people really like Brew York, but I just don't think that this is much of a stout. Anyway, goodbye. Thank you for joining me. If you like what you see, do subscribe. Please leave a comment and so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, gosh. Bye-bye. Pardon me.